What's up Trophy Hunter, welcome to my platinum walkthrough for Hello Neighbor 2. The game is now free for all PS Plus Essential members and can easily be completed in less than one hour. 15 trophies, most of them are story related, there are only 4 miscellaneous trophies. Be aware if you miss the miscellaneous trophies you have to play the game again. Trophies and timestamps can be found in the video description and in the comment section below. So once the game starts, you can skip the cutscenes by pressing the cross button. Right at the beginning, interact with the switch by pressing the square button. Now go left, pick up the key, open the door with the R1 button, go inside and pick up the gear. Now turn around and put the gear into the mechanism to your left. Now turn right, pick up a stone and throw it to break the glasses to get the crowbar. Pick up the crowbar and open the crate to your right. Now pick up the gear and put it into the mechanism. So now turn around, destroy the barricade with the crowbar. Crouch through it and climb up the ladder. Keep climbing to find the last gear. Pick up the gear, jump down here. Put the gear into the mechanism. Interact with the switch on the right and leave the building to finish the tutorial. Small reminder, we need the crowbar the entire game. So if you accidentally throw it away, pick it up. So once you gain control of a character, turn left and leave the building. Jump down here and walk straight and eventually you will reach a trampoline. Now use the trampoline to get on top of the house. Now jump to the treehouse to your left. Go through the door and interact with the poster. Now pick up the sword and turn around. Now use the sword on the cardboard robot. Interact with the right arm three times and with the left arm four times. Now pick up the lever, turn around and use it on the table. And now interact with it once to get the scissors. Pick up the scissors and then leave the treehouse. Jump down here and go behind the blue building. In the building a guy is walking around. And if he catches you, you will restart outside of the house. No worries, completed puzzles will stay solved. But sometimes you have to re-pick up some items. You can run away from the guy or you can hide in closets. So go inside immediately right and then left and now interact with the picture. You need to enter the code NOT to open a secret door. Enter the door and pick up the first door. Now leave this place, turn right and go through the door in front of you. Close the door just in case and then interact with the safe. Enter the code 1984 to get the key. So for example if you get caught now the safe stays open but you have to pick up the key again. So pick up the key, turn around, go through the door in front of you. Now jump on the closet, remove this picture, go inside and pick up door number 2. Now go back to the room where you entered the house. Also keep in mind you can switch through the items a lot faster by pressing the left or the right d-pad. So switch to the crowbar, use it right here and pick up the third door. Now to your right there is a house you have to place the doors in the correct position to get another key. Now pick up the key and go through the door in front of you. There will be another door with four locks but we can already open two of them. So open the two locks, this is also some sort of checkpoint because they will stay open. Now make your way upstairs, use the scissors on the tapes. Go right around the corner, open the crate with the crowbar and pick up the first piece of a photo. Now go through the door in front of you, use the scissors on the pillow to get another piece. To your left under the mirror there is a secret path which leads you into another room, so use it. First use both photo pieces on the frame here. Once done turn right and interact with this switch. 
First we can open a shortcut so use the crowbar on these barricades and then pick up the lever to your left. Now turn around go to the room to your right and use the lever on the left side of the shelf. Interact with it to open another secret room, turn left, use the scissors on the spider webs, pick up the battery. Now in front of you you can see some tapes, use the scissors on it to get another photo piece. Use the piece on the frame and then use the secret path to get to the other room. Now go towards to the window, there is another switch. Use the battery on it and now use the switch two times to get another key. Now pick up the key and then go through the secret path again. Immediately left jump on the cabinet, remove the spider webs with the scissors and pick up the weight. Now back again to the other room through the secret path. Drop the weight to open a cabinet. Check the cabinet and pick up the last photo piece. Go through the secret path, use the piece on the frame to get another key. Pick up the key, turn around, go through the shortcut here and open the other two locks. This was basically day one, which was the most difficult one, the other ones are pretty easy. Go downstairs, pick up the newspaper, now pick up the key and leave the cellar through the door. After the cutscene you can press the option button, select load last save, this will teleport you instantly to the next location. So this is the first night, this is super easy, just go into the building in front of you and pick up the shovel to finish night 1. So after another cutscene, press the option button, select load last save, this will teleport you instantly to the next location. So welcome to day 2, in this day we can also find the first miserable trophy. So first go up the stairs, go right and through the window. Pick up the red wealth wheel in front of you and go through the door. Now immediately go right through the door, look right and go up here. Go through the window, turn right and use the wealth. Interact with it once. In front of you there is a carpet with a heart on it. Use the scissors on the yellow thing. Pick up the clock hand and now open the door to your left. Now turn right and use the clock hand on the clock. The balcony is basically a safe place so whenever you get chased by the enemy you can run out here. So keep that in mind. So turn around here, use the scissors on the bush to get a number. We need this number later. So pick up the number and once it's clear go inside and interact with the clock. Set the time to 10.35. Now pick up the second number and leave the building through the balcony. Jump down and go to the entrance. Go through the double doors and use both numbers on the cash register. The next step is we need to get the key from the woman. The key is in her pocket, so you have to be careful, sneak behind her and try to grab the key. Once you get the key open the freezer here and pick up the ice. Now turn around and throw the ice into the fire. Now turn left pick up the extinguisher and use it on the fire to get another key. Pick up the key and then go outside. Turn left climb up the ladder.
Now in front of you there is a window, you have to go through it, you need to destroy the glass. Just throw any item with the R2 button, but pick up the item again. Go inside, open the book with the key. Pick up another number and then go down where it came from. So jump down here, go through the window, use the key on this lock here, open it and pick up some cat treats. Now use the treats on the cat bowl and after that be sure that you interact with the cat to unlock the first miscible trophy. So pet the cat, after that pick up the second number and then use the numbers on the cash register. Now enter the code 1576 and then pick up the key. So now press the option button and select load last save. This will bring you right to the next location. So go into the building in front of you. Now immediately go right and pick up this house. Now place it on the map to your right, red house on the red place. Now we need to find another two, use your key to open this door. Inside this door is an enemy, so be careful. In the top left corner there is a very good hiding spot. So whenever you get chased, go inside here, but do not stay too close to the enemy because he can grab you. So use the scissors on the spider web and pick up the second house. Close the door if necessary and put the second house on the map. The third house will be on the left side. Also keep in mind that whenever you get chased you can run outside of the house. Like I said before the third house will be on the left side and you need to break a glass to get it. You need to throw any item to break the glass but keep in mind if you throw the crowbar or the scissors pick up them again because we need them later. You definitely will get chased so simply run outside and wait. Once everything is clear, you can put the house on the map. So a safe will now open, pick up the key, turn around and open the door. First go through the door, now we can open another shortcut. Break these barricades, now turn left, use the scissors on the spiderweb, pick up the lamp. On the right you can see a fish head, pick it up. Now go towards to the painting and use the lamp and interact with both of them once. Use the scissors to cut the spider web, go through the door and pick up the key. Turn around, go through the door to your right and then immediately go upstairs. Go left here, left again and in the corner there is a door. Remove the barricades and go outside. This is also a safe spot where the enemy can't catch you. Now use the fish head on the stature, now go outside again. Now you can get another missable trophy. Just climb all the way up the building to get the trophy climber. So once you unlock the trophy, go all the way back. Now change to the key, enter the building, go right and open the door around the corner. Go inside and break the glass and interact with the picture. Be sure before interacting with the picture pick up the crowbar again. So after the cutscenes press the option button and select load last save. 
So the next day is very easy. As soon as the game starts, go towards to the house. Jump over the fence. Go straight and there will be a red barrel. Use it to get on the roof. Now go all the way up. Jump down here and eventually you will find a shovel. Now pick up the shovel and go all the way down. So on the left there will be a pile of dirt, use the shovel on it and then interact with the safe and enter the following code. 8, 0, 1, 6 and 4. Once done, pick up the key to complete the day. Now press the option button and select load last save. Now enter the building and go upstairs. Depending on the enemy's location, go left or right, but the door we need is on the left side. So open this door, go through it. If you get chased, you can hide behind these sheets, wait till it's safe and then interact with the safe on the table. And the following numbers 1, 1, 3 and 5. Pick up the camera to finish night 3. So after the cutscene, press the option button, select load last save. So guys, first enter the building in front of you. Of course there will be an enemy walking around in this house, so be careful. First enter the room on the right side and pick up the fire extinguisher. Now go back outside. Go right around the corner and use the extinguisher on the fire. Now pick up the meat. To your left there should be a dog. Use the meat on his bowl. Now you need to wait a few seconds and after that you can pet him. Be careful because he is running away. Be sure to pet him to get a trophy. So once done, use the shower on the pile of dirt. Pick up the item and use it on the statue to your right to get the first trophy out of 5. So pick up the trophy and enter the house. Make your way upstairs. Immediately go right and through this door in front of you and place the trophy. Each place trophy is basically a checkpoint. Immediately right through the shortcut. There is a window, go through it. Now climb all the way up to get to the attic. Mm. 
Now go to the other side of the attic. Use the crowbar to remove the barricade and open the fuse box. Now pick up the fuse and jump down right here and immediately enter the room to your left. Immediately turn left, check the shelf to find another trophy, pick it up and now go to the trophy room and put the trophy right here. Now use the shortcut. Now use the bed to go up right here. There is another trophy, pick it up. To your right there is a fuse box, open it and put in the fuse. Now jump down, there should be a save now and the following code 8, 6, 9 and 1. Now pick up the second trophy and place both of them on the pedestal. Now go left through the door and in front of you there will be a vinyl record. First you need to break the glass with any item and then pick up the vinyl record. You don't need the shovel but be sure that you pick up the scissor or the crowbar if you throw it. Once done pick up the vinyl record and go downstairs to the piano. To open another door you have to press four link piano keys yellow, red, green and blue. This will open a door in front of you. Now go through this opening, use the vinyl record here and interact with the switch. Now jump up here, simply go up here to get another trophy. Pick up the trophy, leave this place through the small window to your right, go through the door to your right, go upstairs and run into the trophy room. Place the trophy and pick up the wheel, go through the shortcut, use the wheel here and start spinning it. You have to line up the colors, once done enter the secret room. Now pick up the key to finish the day. So press the option button, select load last save. Enter the building, go upstairs to the place where you placed the fish head. So with the new key we can open this door. Enter the room and interact with the book to your right. Now pick up the wrench and leave the room. Go left. And left again to find the door where we can use the wrench. You need to use it twice, once done enter the room. On the toilet you can find a book, pick it up and then go back to the previous room. Now place the book on the shelf here. Now there are three books you can interact with, interact with all three books. Now pick up the bear head, go outside and place it on the statue to get the trophy Mad Scientist. So now you need to go downstairs, in my case I got caught here and spawned right in front of the building. Not really a big deal. So I had to enter the building again, like I said before not really a big deal if you get caught. Now go through the door on the right side, remove the barricades, go through the door, downstairs, turn right, now pick up the door handle, use it on the car to open it and then interact with the handbrake to open the trunk. Now pick up the wild boar head and make your way upstairs.
use it on the statue to get to the attic. Pick up the key to your right and use it on the cell. So pick up the lever in front of you. Go right around the corner and pick up the scissors. Now go back to the cell door, remove the spider webs with the scissors and enter following code. It's upside down so you need to enter the code from right to left. 9, 6, 8, 1 and 3. The next section of the game is a bit annoying. Basically we need now to escape and there will be some traps on the floor so be careful. So go towards to the painting, use the scissors on the spider web, now use the lever, interact with it and go through the new opening and now jump down. This time we need to get the wrench from the enemy, he has the wrench in his pockets but there is an easy trick. First go through this door and as you can see these are the traps on the floor so be careful. However now jump down on the right side, try to land right here and break the glass with your scissors. Usually the enemy hear you but he can't see you. He should come for you and this is the time where you can pick up the wrench very very easily. Also very important pick up the crowbar because you need it later to get through the door to remove the barricades. Now get out of here, go through this opening and use the wrench on the fireplace. Once you removed the script, go back because we need the fire extinguisher. Go through the door on the right. Now use the wrench to get the fire extinguisher and then use it on the fireplace to get the key. You can use the key on the main door to get outside and finish the game. Also keep in mind you need to remove two barricades with the crowbar, I already did this. But I get caught so this is the reason why there are no more barricades on the door. So once you picked up the key use it on the main door and finish the game and the platinum is yours. So guys that's it I hope you found this video useful thanks for the attention see you in my next one.